Good evening, everyone. I am Teacher Jen. And I am Teacher Jill. And I am Teacher Risa. Lend us your ears, class, for our discussion. All right, but before anything else, let's have a prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Lord, we thank you for this time together and for the opportunity to share our thoughts and feelings with one another. Guide us in our discussion so that we may come to a decision that will be placing in your sight. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Okay, good. Evening once again, class. Are we all audible in your end? Okay, great. I will now check your attendance. Please say present when your name is called. Balonga, Garcia, Inoshan, Wapiri, Valdez. Oh, okay, great. You're all present. Keep it up, everyone. So as we proceed to our next topic, uh, let us have a quick review first. So who wants can give me a recap of our last lesson? Okay, so now before anything else, let's play. So all you have to do is to give uh, one word from these four pictures. So you have five seconds for each one. You may start now. Okay, what word is this? So this is Spanish trips. Another. Okay, what word is this class? So this word is Dramatized experiences. Okay, next. What word is this? So this is exhibit. Another. So what word is this again? This is visual symbol. Okay, next slide. So lastly, what word is this? So this word is television and motion pictures. So um, class, thank you for your cooperation. Okay, Miss Jean. Okay, so these words, you will, you will uh, map these words as, low, as we go along with our discussion. So now I will welcome you to our uh, another lesson in technology for teaching and learning too. So our topic for tonight is Edgar Dale Cone of a Learning Experience. So, but before we proceed to our lesson proper, let me first present to you our learning objectives. So first, uh, we have identify and arrange the bonds of experience inside a cone and correctly uh, according to its degree of abstraction. Next, is we construct a reflection paper about the cone of experience. And lastly, realize the value of using the cone of experience in the teaching and learning process. Okay, so here is Edgar Dale. So who is Edgar Dale? So he is an American educator who developed the cone of experience and also known the learning pyramid. So he made uh, several contribu contributions to audio and visual instruction, including the methodology for analyzing the content and of the mo motion pictures. So Edgar Dale also was a pioneer of educational technology. So this is Edgar Dale who proposed the cone of experience. So this is the cone of experience. So it is a pictorial device that represents the bonds of experiences that is composed of 11 bands. So these bands are the ver 
verbal symbols to visual symbols, recordings, radio, still pictures, motion pictures, educational television, exhibits, study trips, demonstrations, dramatized experiences, contrived experiences, and lastly, the direct forceful experiences. So, uh, this bonds is starting from the concrete experiences at the bottom of the cone, then it becomes more and more abstract as it reaches you know, of the cone. So also, according to Dale, the arrangement in the cone is not based on its difficulty, but it is rather, it is based on the level of abstraction and on the number of senses involved. So now, uh, next is we have Dale also integrated uh, Brunner's three modes of learning into the cone by categorizing the learning experiences into three modes. So what are these uh, three modes? So these are the symbolic, the iconic, and the uh, inactive. So what are these? So symbolic, these are the series of symbols. So uh, symbol, symbolic experiences, it involves uh, reading, hearing, uh, symbols that the students read or, for example, when a student reads or hears the word origami. So it forms an image in, in his or her mind. Next is the iconic. So what is iconic? So it is the series of illustrations. So it involves interpreting images and drawings. So when the students look at the drawing pictures or films to learn on how to make an origami, then next is we have an inactive. So this is, is the series of action. So it is the direct experience. So in, it involves you know, the practicing with objects. So the students there actually making uh, an origami, no, to learn an origami. So do you have any question, class? Okay, none so far. So if you don't have any question, let's have our first activity. So in the first activity, uh, as you can see in the slide, uh, the two cones. So in the first cone, I want you to identify and arrange the band of experience according to the level of abstraction. And while on the second cone, I want you to label and arrange the category of learning activities as well as and its corresponding average learn learner's retention rate or and the items or the choices to be put in the second cone are found inside the box. So you are given uh, 15 minutes to do that. And please uh, key in your answer in the Zoom chat box. Okay, are you all done? Okay, great. So uh, may I call on uh, three representatives to share their ideas or their answers to the class? Yes, Jolly, go on. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thank you, Jolly. Next. Yes, Marcel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Next. Mm, yes, Jaya. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for sharing your answers to the class. So let's, let us check your answers if it is correct. So these are the, the different bonds, the first cone, which I, I told you to, to label and arrange. So and then on the other side, these are the learning activities and also the corresponding uh, percentage of the uh, learners and retention rate. So we, you can get a 10% of what we read, 20% of what we hear, and 30% of what we see, and then 50% of what we see and hear, and then 70% of what we say, and 90% of what we say and do. Okay, next. So now to better understand the 11 bands of experience, uh, let me further discuss the 
bonds of experience. So first, uh, let's have the direct forceful experiences. So what do you mean by this? So this, this is, these are the first-hand experiences which uh, serve as the foundation of learning. So in this level, more senses are used in order to build up the knowledge. Also at this level, the learner learns by doing things by him or herself. So learning happens um, through the actual hands-on uh, experiences. So this level uh, explains and proves one of the principles in the selection and use of teaching as strategies. So uh, the more senses that are involved, involved in learning, no? the more and the better the learning will be. So uh, through experiential learning, we're in, we're in one learns by doing. So basically this direct uh, purposeful experiences is learning by doing. So do you have uh, any question regarding this, uh, uh, the first band of our experience? Okay, none so far. So next is we have no, the classroom practices or process no, in direct uh, forceful school experiences. So it can enable us to teach the others. And also, as I said, it is a first-hand experience and experimentation. So through students' uh, collaboration, this can also uh, foster uh, effective learning as they also learn from their classmates. As I have said, learning happens through actual hands-on uh, experiences. And then with the digital technology integration, we can uh, uh, bring our learning not just in the physical classroom, but also through a uh, virtually. So we can have a gamification or the virtual assimilation. So with the advent of technology, uh, learning continues uh, to be more effective and broaden one's uh, knowledge through no, gamification, virtual simulation. So we can also put it into action what we have learned. So do you have any question? Okay, so let me proceed. Next is we have the contrived experiences. So what is this uh, contrived experiences? So in this um, in this uh, level, no, uh, representative models and mockups of reality are being used. So in order to provide an experience that is as close as reality. So this level is very uh, practical. Uh, why? Because and it makes the learning experience more accessible to the learner. So in this stage, uh, it provides you know, more concrete experiences, even if not uh, as concrete as the first one that we tackled, the direct uh, experiences, that allows visualiz visualization uh, that fosters better understanding of the concept. So uh, as you can see there in the pictures, no? so there are the topics, there are topics that is beyond no? the learner's uh, grasp or beyond the ability of the teacher to present. So they're going to use the models and Mac apps. So in, in classroom and practices or process is used to overcome limitation or space of uh, and time. Teacher also use games to serve summation or review. So uh, in teaching, we should not settle for less. Um, in this one, it offers uh, substitute instructional materials of the reality and to overcome uh, such limitation. So because we cannot present to the class the real human body or or the planetary or the planets. We use these models or Mac apps no, to, to give them no, close to reality. So this experience is what we call the contrived experience. So in digital uh, integration, no, program materials, slides, videos, and the like. No? With the integration of uh, technology, we can have the contrived experience no, more engaging and fun for the learners as well. So there are 3D, mod, uh, 3D models or program materials as what you can see uh, in the picture. So for the contrived experience, do you have any question or clarification? None so far. Okay, so let's proceed to the next uh, band of uh, cone of experience. So thank you, teacher Jenny. So for the next band of experience, we have here the dramatized experience. These are commonly used as activities that allow students to actively participate in a reconstructed experience. And 
So what comes to your mind when you hear the word dramatize? So dramatize is uh, to make a book or an event into a play or a movie or in a television or in television show. So it also presents or represents in a dramatic manner to present in the theatrical presentation. So in classroom practices or process of dramatized experience, teacher will use this for learners to become more familiar with the concepts as they emerge themselves to as if situation. So like, for example, you and your classmates are tasked in role playing of Romeo and Juliet story. And one student will be acting as Juliet and as Romeo and the other characters too. In presenting, you will show your acting skills on stage and acting as Romeo and Juliet on the story so on the next the digital technology integration of the dramatized experience it utilizes technology tools to enhance the role playing of students and of course it uses camera and video films were used on that next is utilizes technology to let students produce an animation or a short film so for the next one is the demonstration. The demonstrations is an actual execution of a procedure or a process. When one decides to show how things are done, a demonstration is most appropriate experience. So for example, as a teacher shows a, a diagram of a, of a table of elements or a diagram of any object that is need to be discussed by the teacher. It, uh, the teacher shows the diagram to be able to the students will learn. So in classroom practices or process in the demonstrations, teacher will use demonstra demonstration or to dis demonstrate a certain topic to the class for them to observe the process of or how things work. Then for the digi digital technology integration, it uses in instructional materials and PowerPoint presentations and incorporate videos. Then the next bond is study trip. So these are the actual visits to certain locations to observe a situation or a case which may not be available inside the classroom. For example, when teacher is discussing uh, history, so when it comes to history, it go uh, the teacher will focusing on the artifacts, artifacts in the past year. So, as it is a study trip, so the teacher will decide to go uh, to go to a museum. So the the museum will con con compose of the artifacts. So the the students will understand what is that and the discussion of the teacher. So the classroom practices or process of the study trips. So this can be a recreational and educational. And also it can be done inside the school or outside the institutions, indoors and outdoors. For the di digital technology integration, it uses virtual reality, reality headsets, smartphones, camera, pocket Wi-Fi, laptop, and etc. To, to explore certain situations. So in this, in this part, uh, it uses technology. For example, when the teacher discusses the, um, the planet, then we didn't see the planet in, uh, in reality. So the teacher will show uh, a video that it is, uh, about the planet. So it uses technology. Then for the next one is exhibit. So these are displays of models such as a pictures, artifacts, posters, among others that provide the message or information. These are basically viewed. However, there are currently exhibits that allow the viewers to manipulate or interact with, this, with the display. So for this example is the art exhibit. 
so we can show, we can show our art in the specific area then the audience will will will, will interact to, to what is the with what is that art so for the classroom practices or process teacher can show students visual representations or concrete examples of an idea or an image contained to them. So in digital technology integration, it shows a 3D dimensional object or it is a realistic one. So in exhibit can also be shown through presentation technologies such as digital projectors or visit websites that offers the virtual exhibit. So the virtual floor is yours, me, Betty Teresa. So the next level would be the level of television and motion features. So this technology equipment provide a two-dimensional reconstruction of a reality. So this means at this level, we can reconstruct the reality. So videos are effective for presenting a uh, movement and continuing of ideas. So for example, uh, mga motion animations, videos, and TV programs that which imply uh, value and messages through media. So these are abstract experiences as learners focus on observation instead of active participation. So this allow learners to experience the situation being communicated through the mediated tools. So this level, the learners would be um, enabled to process the uh, real life uh, processes or events through the on-screen uh, recording. So for classroom practices or processes, uh, teachers can give students the visual moving experience. So educators use TV or any other motion features in the classroom uh, to reinforce or expand their content uh, being taught. And then students can observe and make evaluation from what is shown to them. So uh, as film or videos or TVs, uh, this powerful instructional tool uh, will bring students a new kind of vision and that motivates them to learn. And then for technology, uh, yes, digital technology integration, it utilizes uh, a video sharing platform such as YouTube, uh, Daily Motion and etc and utilizations of computers or laptops okay next so still pictures and recordings or read radio so Still, speech, still pictures or images, images together in this category are the audio, are recorded materials or information or broadcast through the radio. So still pictures, recording, and radio are visual and auditory devices that can be used uh, by a learner or group of learners that could enhance and external their life uh, learning experiences. So in more, in more modern terms, at uh, this level could include the photos, the podcasts, or audio files. So this can be often be understood by those uh, students who have difficulties in reading. Okay, for classroom practices or processes, so teacher lecture and group discussion involving the use of radio, uh, recordings for information gathering, story analysis, and listening skills development, and the use of picture to further a concept or idea. So picture uh, can transform uh, their abstract ideas into more realistic forms. So example for this is uh, mga picture sequence. So this can be very uh, useful assistive tools when creating and adding to the existing learning material. And then for the uh, digital technology integration, it use of uh, digital audio and teaching and learning such as podcast, pre-recorded lectures or other audio learning uh, resources like Discord and digital features can be a uh, visual simulation from uh, television or social media. 
Another level is the visual symbols. So these are more abstract representation of the concept or the information. So uh, this uh, level, it is where uh, the learner is more passive. So as, as most students, uh, they are visual uh, learners. So uh, example for this is uh, charts maps or graphs and diagrams for abstract representation so these visual symbols it helps students to make uh, just about any reality or any uh, something easier to understand so in fact uh, from team logos or traffic signs uh, we see symbols everywhere right so visual symbol it helps drive uh, understanding by conveying a meaning. So that simple illustrations uh, that do not include uh, any unnecessary detail. So for classroom practices or processes, uh, teacher instructions as well as student activities that use graphs, charts, yes, uh, maps or diagrams to connect, uh, relate, compare, and construct concepts, ideas, and information. So um teachers also uh, the teacher should uh, provide uh, some uh, some visual presentation to understand easily uh, their given information and then for uh digital technology integration a digital software like microsoft office or other online resources that can be utilized to create uh, visual symbols such as graphs and flow charts so another level is the verbal symbols. So this category appears to be the most abstract because they may not exactly look like the concept or object they represent, but are symbols, words, codes, or formulae. So this is a highly abstract, uh, another abstract, a uh, highly abstract uh, symbol or level that does not involve visual representation or demonstrations or any others uh, or any other traces to their meanings. And then for uh, classroom practices or processes, a verbal symbol refers to sending and receiving a message through sounds and language. And teacher can address one student or the whole classroom through verbal communication. So teacher present different symbols and math formulas. And for the digital technology integration, it maximizing the use of overhead projector or jump board. So do you have any questions uh, regarding our discussions this evening? So let's proceed with the application. So for your application, uh, I will ask you on how you would relate the cone of experiences to the teaching learning processes and how they and how you would apply it as a future educator so you have given uh, five minutes so you will think and construct your answer so individually uh, you will share your thoughts and answers to the class so who will be the one uh, to uh, share it to the class okay miss uh, Inushan. Okay, thank you for that. Yes, uh, Miss Joy. Okay, that's good. Uh, I think you are all uh, really understand what uh, our discussion is all about. So I think uh, that's all for the application. So let's proceed to the uh, quiz, uh, Miss Jill. Thank you, Teacher Ressa. So for your quiz class, so please check our GC because I will be sending the link for the assessment. And for your assignment, in a short of one paper, write a reflection paper about the Edgar Dale's phone of experience. So don't worry, I will also send the assignment in our group chat. Okay, so you don't have any question regarding to, our, to your uh, assignment? Okay, so if you don't have, uh, our discussion comes to an end and I hope that uh, you learned something from our inputs. And uh, 
I hope that you have a better understanding uh, for the Edgar Dale's uh, Konov experience. So that's all for this evening uh, topic. So may I call on Ms. Risa for the prayer. So all together in the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Uh, Father, we thank you for all our accomplishments today. Uh, we ask you to continue to inspire one another as we take on this new learning. Uh, bless us with safety and security. Uh, we pray that our actions, thoughts, and words will bring you glory as we move forward with our missions of forming the disciples of your Son, Jesus Christ. We pray, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. God bless. Thank you, everyone.